Hello everyone, welcome back to Warren's Everyday English. These days, the weather has been unusually hot and there have been heat waves all across the country, prompting us to take a look at the current news and learn key expressions that will help you understand weather reports. So here's a sample from a weather news report. And first, let's listen to the news and see how much you understand. And then we're going to look at the key expressions you often hear when you watch or listen to the weather forecast. So let's start, shall we? Sweltering heat wave grips the region. The region is currently experiencing a relentless heat wave with scorching temperatures soaring to record-breaking levels. Residents are facing the challenges of extreme heat, prompting health concerns and power outages. Amidst the heat wave, health officials are warning about the risks of dehydration and heat exhaustion. They advise everyone to stay hydrated and seek shade to avoid health problems. The high energy demand during this heat wave has led to occasional power outages in some areas. Officials are asking people to use less electricity and save energy to help the power grid handle the increased demand and avoid overloading or potential issues. Wildfire risks have also increased due to the dry and hot conditions caused by the heat wave. Firefighters are working tirelessly to control several blazes in different regions. To help people cope with the extreme heat, cooling centers have been set up providing relief for those without air conditioning. Officials are emphasizing the need to take care of vulnerable communities, especially the elderly and children, who are more susceptible to the heat's adverse effects. So the first expression covered in this news paragraph is sweltering. Sweltering meaning extremely and uncomfortably hot. Let's look at how the word sweltering is used in the sentences. The sweltering temperatures prompted many to head to the beach to cool off in the water. Despite the sweltering weather, the determined hikers continued their trek to reach the mountaintop. So heat wave, right? So a heat wave is a period of extremely hot weather, typically lasting several days and often characterized by high temperatures and humidity. Scorching temperatures. And this is a common phrase we use, meaning extremely hot temperatures that feel intense and uncomfortable. Record-breaking levels. So record-breaking levels meaning reaching temperatures that are the highest ever recorded. Power outages, meaning the loss of electrical power in an area, often due to increased energy demand during extreme weather events. So this is very similar to power failure or a blackout. Dehydration, a very common word we use, especially in the summertime or in the hot weather, and this is a condition caused by a lack of water in the body, often due to excessive heat and sweating. Heat exhaustion, another common word that's used when we talk about the heat or the hot weather, right? So this is a heat related illness characterized by heavy sweating, weakness, dizziness, and nausea, usually caused by prolonged exposure to high temperatures or the heat. The next expression is, High energy demand, meaning a significant increase in the need for electricity during extreme heat. Power grid, right? So this is the system of interconnected power lines, transformers, and generators that distribute electricity from power plants to consumers, like, you know, homes, businesses, etc. Wildfire risks, right? So this is the increased chances of uncontrolled fires spreading in dry conditions. So this happens a lot in areas where there's a lot of trees or forests which catch fire. Blaze, which is a large and intense fire. Right, so blaze is often used in the context of wildfires or large scale fires that pose a threat to people, property, and the environment. Cooling centers, these are facilities providing relief from the heat for those without air conditioning. Vulnerable communities, right? So this is a term a lot of times we use for groups of people who may be at higher risk during extreme weather events, such as the elderly, children, and those with health conditions. Susceptible. So this means easily influenced or harmed by something. So let's go over some examples using susceptible. 
right? So people with weakened immune systems are more susceptible to infections. Without proper protection, your computer is susceptible to malware and viruses. Her sensitive skin makes her more susceptible to sunburns. Adverse effects, right? So this means a negative or harmful result. Here, these effects can include heat-related illnesses, dehydration, heat exhaustion, and other health issues that can be triggered by high temperatures. As an English learner, familiarizing yourself with these weather expressions will help you understand weather-related news and have meaningful conversations about current weather conditions. Remember to stay safe and take necessary precautions during a heat wave. And before you leave, let's listen to the news one more time. Sweltering heat wave grips the region. The region is currently experiencing a relentless heat wave with scorching temperatures soaring to record-breaking levels. Residents are facing the challenges of extreme heat, prompting health concerns and power outages. Amidst the heat wave, health officials are warning about the risks of dehydration and heat exhaustion. They advise everyone to stay hydrated and seek shade to avoid health problems. The high energy demand during this heat wave has led to occasional power outages in some areas. Officials are asking people to use less electricity and save energy to help the power grid handle the increased demand and avoid overloading or potential issues. Wildfire risks have also increased due to the dry and hot conditions caused by the heat wave. Firefighters are working tirelessly to control several blazes in different regions. To help people cope with the extreme heat, cooling centers have been set up providing relief for those without air conditioning. Officials are emphasizing the need to take care of vulnerable communities, especially the elderly and children, who are more susceptible to the heat's adverse effects. Thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, folks.